Are you ready to save hours per week? Let me introduce you to Windows Power Toys. This is gonna be a great way to enhance your productivity and maybe it's even gonna save you hours per week. Let's dive in. What's up everybody, Greg Treziak here with Pragmatic Works. And in today's video, I wanna show every little thing that I love about Windows Power Toys. This is a really great free tool that you can utilize to really streamline a lot of things that you're doing. We'll talk about how to install it, what are some of my personal favorites that I think save you the most time, and I'll even introduce you to other ways you can increase your productivity if you stay to the end. First things first, if you follow the comments and links down below, you're gonna see the link to Microsoft Learn. This is gonna direct you to the Microsoft Power Toys space. We're gonna go there and this has a couple of pieces here. The first article here is gonna allow you to install, but it's also gonna cover all of the awesome things that it's gonna be able to do. There's even more than we're gonna be able to look at in the video today, so definitely check that out. Simply put, you could just click on install here, or if you'd like, go to the install Power Toys left-hand side article, and you're gonna be able to follow some other ways to install. You can grab it from the Microsoft Store. You can actually install the Windows Package Manager using some of your command lines in PowerShell, and there's some other great things as well. You can even ask Copilot to kind of help you out and grabbing it. Lots of ways that you can install it. I am just going to go back to About Power Toys and click on Install and go right over to the Microsoft Store. Easiest way to go about it to get the installation process started. You're gonna see Microsoft Power Toys, which has this really cool retro 8-bit kind of style, and you just click on Download. Now, let's wait for that download to happen. Now, you can open up your file. I'll open it up here, and you can go through the installation process. Here we are. So, now I'm looking at my Power Toys settings. This is truly the toy box. Right now, I have everything up to date, and I have all of the different modules. These are things that I can customize. So you can completely turn these on or off based on what you like and what you don't like. You're also gonna see all of the hotkeys. All of these hotkeys here are things that you can use and those shortcuts to get things done. One is advanced pasting, which is a really, really great one. We'll talk about it in a second. I can just go ahead and do my Windows Shift V and go ahead and get that started. I have some other ones. A lot of these deal with kind of some sort of Windows shift combination. I know for me how I use this the most effectively because I'm recording, I'm teaching, I'm in the moment, I'm in the zone. I actually have a keyboard with macro keys, which allows me to just customize these. And then one click, I can trigger those commands. So there's a lot of ways you could pair this with your current setup to really enhance what you're gonna be able to build and you're gonna be a lot faster with everything. All right, so that looks pretty awesome. I have a couple of pages here as far as the tools, the layouts, but really this just goes into the modules. What are those modules that I think are worth your time right now? Well, I wanna show you five modules that I think are really gonna change your Windows game today. Okay, number one, advanced paste. This is so helpful with the amount of different code pieces and other things that we have to move from one screen to another window to wherever it needs to go. Couple that with now there's actually some API chat GPT style or open AI integration for AI help. This is pretty crazy. Now, what does advanced pace allow us to do? Again, all you really got to do is press that Windows Shift V and we can utilize this feature. There's a lot more that goes into this, but simply put, we're gonna be able to either describe what we want to paste or paste it right then and there as plain text, markdown, JSON, JSON, Derulo, text files, you name it. So just as an example, let me grab this advanced text paste right here, and we all know the deal, right? I can go Control C and Control V, copy, paste. Okay, well, let's try this out now, but let's do that Windows Shift V. Here, I've got Windows Shift V, and I've immediately opened up the advanced text area. 
I can bring this in as plain text, markdown, JSON, whatever it may be. So whatever you're working with, you're going to be able to just quickly grab, paste those things in that file format. Kind of reminds me of when I utilize Teams and I need to send a snippet of code and there's a little bit of a drop down for me to do that there. Now, if I want to just go paste as JSON, I'm going to select that and let's open up just a quick notepad. See how this looks. Throw it in. Right. Hey, that looks pretty good. So this is definitely one, especially if you're working with code, any languages like that, that is going to save you time. Now on to number two. Next one up here is your color picker. If you've seen any of my universal design classes on the Pragmatic Works On Demand Learning, you know I'm big about all the ways that we can design our reports to be more accessible, more design friendly, and just overall look a lot better. Color Picker is a tool that I love to use. There's tons of other ones out there, but this is built in with Power Toys and super, super easy. All it takes is Windows Shift C. So Color Picker, pretty awesome. So let's just say, hey, you know what? This is that rose color over here or some of these other items here. Well, maybe I just wanna actually grab that sky blue. Let's follow the instructions, right? Windows Shift C and now I have a little bit of a blurb here, a little bit of a bubble that follows my mouse. So if I go over to the blue area here, I can pretty much match the sky blue over here. If I go to the white, it just shows me the F code. Let's just say I minimize for a second here and or move out of here, click, and you're going to see what it grabbed, right? So I can pick again. Let's grab this blue. Boom. So anytime you click, you can grab it. But I like that it follows you until you find that exact pixel perfect kind of thing. This is going to be really great, especially if you're designing a report in Power BI, you're working in Power Apps, wherever you're at and you need to make sure that the color contrast is enough, this can start to kind of give you an idea and allow you to grab those colors and then compare the contrast with other tools as well. So love this. That's number two. On to number three. All right, this one is called Always On Top. This is a great way where you can pin something onto another window if it's kind of paired and you need it to always be there together. I kind of like doing this with a calculator. This is always something where it's like, where did that calculator go? Where did my notepad go? Trying to keep all my notes and things organized. So let's imagine here that I like this window. I need it, but I also have the calculator that I really need to kind of run over to the side here. Well, what I'm going to do is follow the commands. All I've got is window control T. What's great, again, is if I have power toys hanging out there, I have those shortcuts ready to go. So window control T, let's try it out. Window control T, you'll hear a little bit of a ping. And now let's start to move things around. This is stuck. Well, let's try to do another one. Let's grab this window here. Let me make it a little bit over here and let's try it again. Windows control T, okay. Well, now I have these over to the side. I can still move them if I need to as I'm working with this, but I can allow them to pin and be in these locations that I desire. This is great too, because let's say I bring in another article, bring in another piece of something here. I can have that over to the side and I continue to pin and pin and pin. You want to get rid of it here. What's really nice is let's just Windows Control T again on these and we are good to go. This functionality is pretty much the same you're going to see in some of the other features here. I really like that quick one. Just pin it real quick, leave it over to the side. There's also things like crop and lock and other items and even fancy zones, which kind of allow you to really customize this. That Windows Control T with crop on top is super simple, but Power Toys has even more ways we can really maximize your screens. And for me, I have three monitors and sometimes that doesn't even feel like enough. So I love this one. Number four, this is a super, super simple one, but will streamline when you need to open something up fast. This is Power Toys Run. Power Toys Run is a just quick shortcut that will give you a little navigation bar that immediately pops up and allows you to search for the apps you want and click them and get them running. A little bit more effective than maybe scrolling down to the bottom, going to your search bar, going to the next piece or hitting that Windows key. So I really like this one. All you got to do is do Alt Space 
boom, a window pops up. It's gonna have any potential plugin keywords, but I can immediately just type, hey, I need Power BI right now. And it even has some options here. Where is some of my files? If I wanna run it, the desktop, anything like that, I can click it and bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna get this thing loaded up right then and there. So kind of a small thing, but if we think about these little nuanced changes that we're gonna make using Power Toys, you're gonna find way more productivity and a lot less of this kind of overall navigation. I know for me, I'm doing a lot of typing, I'm doing a lot of movement of my mouse, and if I can simplify any of the things that I do with my keyboard, because remember, you're on this thing eight hours a day, even more, that's gonna help not only with maybe wrist pain, simplifying some of the things that you're doing, but also help with your speed. So Power Toys Run, a great one for number four. On to number five. I would be remiss if I didn't mention number five to you. This is one that's actually not natively turned on on your initial download. So you are actually gonna have to turn this one on. But again, it's really simple. Go to that Power Toys menu, scroll around, and you can see some things are on and off. Zoom it is the ideal and ultimate presenter's tool. When you're giving a presentation, it is a game changer. Now, we have a YouTube video on it right over here. Check that one out for the full picture, but let me show you just a couple of the things that are really gonna change your presentation game. First of all, go ahead and select it to make sure you've turned it on, and then we can begin working with the tool. There's a lot of cool kind of hotkeys that go with Zoom it here. One of these that you want to kind of keep in mind is the control number. Control number is how we get the most out of Zoom it here. And even if you're looking through the documentation, you're going to see some of the ways that you can utilize this. There are timers, there's zooming, there's drawing, there's all these great things that you're going to be able to use. So my advice is do control one and you'll zoom. And then try the control with another number and you're bound to get something else that's really, really cool. Control one to zoom, and you can zoom even further in with your mouse wheel or back. Really great if you're giving a presentation to the back of the room. Control two is gonna allow you to draw, yeah. And if you do things like tab or shift or control shift, you're gonna get all these extra icons, even control itself, to really maximize this. Hey, you wanna change colors? Just type the letter while in control two, and you're gonna be able to go through all of these awesome fancy colors that you might want. Really, really great. All right, how do I pair this for a really good experience, especially on a virtual meeting? Windows Shift S. I can basically take a quick screenshot of my smiley face, and it's got my snipping tool. I can paste that into the chat of a Teams meeting or anything else. There is also gonna be control three, for a timer, this can be customized. You can really even change the times up and down the way you see fit. And last but not least, you also have this one right here, which is control four, which is actually a live Zoom. So I can say Greg was here right in that moment in that documentation and enjoy it as well. Now, control four to get out of it, and there's even more options. That was number five, but hey, you suck around. So I'm gonna give you one more great power toy that I think is worth your time. This is a good time to tell you to make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell to make sure you get alerted of any new awesome tech videos, anything Microsoft, <laughs> Snowflake, all across the awesome, kind of changes to technology that we have going on. The other thing I suggest is make sure you get our on-demand learning. That's where you're gonna have access to hundreds of really great classes where you can learn more tips and tricks like this from the experts. Well, we are also gonna have a full Power Toys class where we're gonna go deeper into every single tool and maybe there's some that you're gonna be able to maximize even more than others. Check it out, and remember, you can save 40% off your subscription with the code GREG40.
40. Last bonus here, a really, really great one, especially if you're working within multiple language, internationally, you name it. Now, again, this is one you've got to turn on, but a bonus for you is quick accent. If you need to get accent marks or anything like that super, super fast, this is going to be awesome. So all you've got to do is select that on here. Now, quick accent, we'll look at what we need to be able to do with this one here. Now, this one's a little bit weird. What you're going to do is you are going to utilize the letter you'd like, and then you're going to navigate using your arrow keys and space. So let's try it out. I'm just going to open up a simple notepad here. Open up my notepad. I've got my JSON from earlier, and I can type the letter A. Super, super simple. Now, what I might do is actually just make it a little bit bigger so we can see. Now, let's go ahead and try this out using some of the advice of our quick accent. Well, if I want A with the tilde, I need to press and hold A and then use space. So A space. Boom. Watch how I do it. A space. Hold. All right. Let go of that space bar. Hold the A and you're going to see all the available options. So I've got the tilde up at the top. I've got the A, E kind of noise and I've got an upside down A as well. So I'm going to bring in that A, E and I'm going to switch to the next letter with E. I've got a lot more options here. I can bring those in as I hold. Let's go with this one here. And there we go. Those are five power toys tips to hopefully enhance your work experience make things a little bit faster and quicker. There are so, so, so much more for you to be able to explore the world of your workflow. Hope I saved you some time today, showed you a couple of cool features to enhance it. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the on-demand learning. This has been Greg Treziak. Remember, stay pragmatic.